this morning, like imagine early February raining in Calgary. Yeah. What? <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. Don't worry, bro. I bring the sun. Yeah. Bring the sun. <laughs> so we're out here on 17th Ave in Calgary, interviewing people what they think about Calgary winters. How does the winter in Calgary compare to other places you've lived or visited? I'd say it's not as bad. They're pretty good at like clearing the roads. They clear themselves pretty well with the traffic around. I've lived in Manitoba and like Saskatchewan. It's not as bad. It's just very extreme, I think. It just goes from like minus 30 to plus 30 within a matter of like two days. That's the only big difference. I've <laughs> That's noticed. all of Alberta yeah, though. That's true. Yeah. But I've just lived in like BC or Toronto or Montreal pretty much so this is very different compared to those places like the extreme. It's been pretty mild this year, but during that cold snap when it got down about negative 40 every day, it was freezing. <laughs> I need like a face covering, it was so cold. I lived in Victoria, BC for a while. In the winter I was there, it was, I'd say, worse, honestly. But that's only because it was non-stop rain and just gross all the time. Out here, at least, once the snow falls, you can be on top of it and it's not so bad. <laughs> um, the Live Inner City real estate team, we're, okay. we're really massive on YouTube. We have almost 10,000 subscribers. Okay. We've helped lots of people in Canada, overseas as well, um, about moving to Calgary. Compared to winter in Sydney, it's very different in the fact that you don't have snow on the ground all the time and it's not negative 30 degrees outside. So walking outside in negative 30 degrees is pretty crazy, but honestly it's nice in the fact that you get the cold days but then you get the Chinooks and you get some nice weather, which is really good because honestly, if it's negative 30 every day that would be depressing so <laughs> when you get those five degrees celsius days you know you feel like it's the middle of summer out there so that's great well i mean it's hard when you compare it to like winnipeg or something like that it's probably better than that but when you're comparing it to like vancouver and stuff it's a lot colder i guess a lot more snow not right now but it's crazy right like if you've been there, if you've been here for 25 years it's the first time i've seen it really raining this winter has been like really warm it hasn't snowed very much i guess it's Snow pretty good. Really I love the winter. I'm here for it. Yeah, and the yeah. Chinooks are always good though. So that's always, it's like a breath of fresh air. Yeah. yeah. Lots of sunshine. <laughs> the cold yeah, day. for like yeah. two days it gets to like plus 10 or whatever. Yeah. Then it goes right back down. But <laughs> yeah, it's good. I don't think it's that bad. Calgary's actually really sunny. I guess what I like about it the most. It gets pretty cold, but like, you know, you just layer up. How does the winter season impact your work or social life? It doesn't. I tend to keep to myself and just, uh, the weather does its own thing and I, I just live with it, calm and easy, you know? I definitely uh, makes me warm up my car about 20 minutes before I get in. <laughs> and uh, socially, it's a lot of Ubers and not a lot of walking. Uh, just because, you know, it's it's freezing, I don't want to carry a jacket around with me. There's definitely the aspect of, well, if it's going to be minus like 30 tonight, I probably don't want to go out. But when it comes to work and stuff, you got to go, you got to go. And I don't think there's, yeah, I don't think there's a lot of crazy weather conditions that are really going to stop you and that your work is going to be like, well, you have to come if it's like a polar vortex kind of thing. There's not much impeding. There are options and the city does have like, the trains usually run and the buses, they're good. If you can't start your car, you can take that. Yeah, pretty much the same. The socials, you just, <laughs> you just stay inside for the social stuff. You're just yeah. like, I'm not going out in this weather. Friends yeah. can come to you. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's Jobs, all. you can play hooky for a couple of days. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling well. <laughs> it's like, it's minus 35. I got a terrible cold. I can't get out of the house. <laughs> oh, it makes everything more of a drag like as I was saying when it's negative 30 outside you don't really want to go outside like there's no one no one's really trying to go outside and do anything so especially in like the hospitality business which I've been working in lately less people want to go and you know go out to eat and all that sort of stuff so yeah I reckon the cold definitely affects that but it opens up other, other avenues like the skiing stuff they have out at East Village and right. the mountains etc. I don't know I feel like we're kind of go with the flow like we don't care if it's cold we're like let's get out let's go. Yeah it doesn't really affect it I just yeah. Layers on, I guess. Yeah, we're here for it. We like the winter. I guess, like, not that bad. Once again, I'm feeling pretty good about Calgary winters. Uh, especially this year, man. This year was really easy. I think, like, lucky for your yeah, first year. exactly right. I, 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 don't worry, bro. I bring the sun. Yeah. <laughs> Are there any winter events or activities that you enjoy here? I like skiing. I know you can't ski in Calgary, but it's very close to the mountains. So I haven't been out to the Rockies to ski yet, but maybe one day I'll get out there and I'm excited to do that. I love skiing. I, yeah, I go up to Lake Louise on the weekend and, uh, and ride there. There was, what's it called, Chinook Blast? Yeah, it's going yeah. on right now. It's just yeah. like the start of February 4th. That one's pretty it's good. Going to be going for like a um, weeks. So there's going to be a bunch of music events, like skiing mm -hmm. events as well. I think there's some snowboarding, I'm not sure, but like uh, it's and a like, lot of free and cheap stuff for yeah. the community. It's pretty nice because we all know cost of living is getting expensive. So mm -hmm. it's easy. Like, it's just 
If it wasn't raining, we'd be going there as well. Yeah. <laughs> in Calgary? Or it could be around Calgary yeah, too, right? Like dog sledding the other year. Last year we did it. And that was fun. That yeah, was a winter really fun. thing. Yeah. yeah just outside camera. You know, I don't I don't really participate in any big winter events. Like I said, I'm a I'm I tend to keep to myself. I'm not much of a good Canadian man. I I'm really shitty at skiing. Like I suck at skating. <laughs> but you've tried? Yeah, I tried. I went to Banff like last year. Didn't yeah. really work out. I joined a pickleball league instead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Indoors here in Calgary? Yeah, indoors, indoors. Kids, back in old days. Yeah. <laughs> what advice would you give to someone experiencing their first winter here in Calgary? Snow tires. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that. Just embrace it. Layer up and get out there. It's usually sun is shining. So yeah, just go do it. Yeah. Dress warm and uh, have a blast and go uh, check out the mountains. <laughs> Winter tires, uh, <laughs> definitely invest in those, you know, like all seasons sound good, but if it's your first winter, a good space heater for your room at night, that's always good, especially if you're downtown. Some of these apartments don't have the best, like all around heating. Stay cozy, make your inside cozy. <laughs> make it bright, because you're going to be spending a lot of time in there and you don't want it to be dark and gloom and stuff, so that's kind of it. Yeah, that's kind of it. Yeah. <laughs> get a pair of boots like Tim's because when it starts snowing you don't want to walk through the slush and uh, maybe get a jacket and gloves. You need gloves. <laughs> when it's really cold outside, get gloves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah everything. Yeah. Gloves, boots and a jacket. That would be the first three things I'll tell somebody to get. Uh, just layer. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the advice I give is yeah. uh, make sure you got a couple of layers, a couple of sweatshirts on underneath your jacket. Man, I didn't get a car. That's like the one thing that I'm missing at six months. And I'm kind of still taking transit. That's probably the most unreliable thing in Calgary. Unreliable? Yeah. Okay, why is that? Uh, you know, sometimes it takes the wrong turn. Sometimes it comes, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on the day. What's your favorite winter food or drink? I'm going to go with an Irish coffee. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, Luke. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> sound really stereotypical Canadian but like a good double double from Tim's like pick that up in the morning and you're good I also love it's an ice cream shop but I love going to a motto gelato they're a pretty good place we just passed by it not that long ago and I was like oh is it too cold like you know but um, no they, it's just a nice vibe in there too there's two locations and it's it's just nice, like, just to sit in there for a bit and have a coffee and a gelato. I was gonna say, that's pretty crazy. Ice cream for winter. Oh, that's, like, that's just Canadian, though. Like, well, you, you go to DQ, you go to 7-Eleven, get a Slurpee, like, you know, it's not gonna stop you, right? Oh, hot chocolate for me. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and simple. Hot chocolate, give me. I'm not picky for food, give it to me from anywhere. I just want yeah. hot chocolate. My favorite comfort food in general is just M&M's. Right. M&M's, that's it. Simple as that. It's just got hot chocolate. We got some snacks at Black Sheep. We just got some pastries. But hot chocolate probably because I don't do coffee anymore, but hot chocolate's always good. Yeah. yeah. I haven't tried too many of the restaurants in Calgary yet. You know, anything anything soup-based, ramen noodles, for some of the group. It's a Tim Hortons Boston cream. I love those things. That's like the second person that said Tim Hortons. Hey? <laughs> hey. That dude was a legend. 